I'm gonna break this. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one that breaks it, not the scratching. What's going on everybody, Waffler here. I'm here to talk to you about one thing, and that is scratched CDs. You ever go to Goodwill or something and you see a video game or a CD or a DVD that you really like, but then you look at the back. Oh my God, I can't play that. That's scratched up. Uh, well, I'm gonna show you how we fix that. It's very cheap. It doesn't work 100%, but if you need to get it cleaned up a little bit, just to push it through so that your reader can read the disc, I got you. So anyway, I'm gonna show you that this disc does not work. Here's a disc that does work, Scarface. Who doesn't own Scarface? You wouldn't be on an episode of Cribs if you didn't have Scarface. As you can see, it's reading at the top and it opened up my DVD. Scarface isn't a scratched DVD, but this is a scratched CD. We're talking about the Titanic original soundtrack. As you can see, it's reading the disc. It's not working. I can even hear it in the machine revving up and down. So this is not going to play. Well, let me show you how to fix that. Alrighty, so to clean the disc, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a drill. I have one that's plugged in, the battery powered ones are shit. And this is like 10, $15. This is 10 or $15. You get one of these buffers, connect that thing. And then you get you a five or $6 bottle of this plastic buff. And we're gonna buff out them scratches. Add a little bit to the problem area. Kind of rub it in like that. And now we're about to buff the shit out of it. All right, so this is the same Titanic CD that we had just a second ago, and I just buffed the F out of it. This is where the problem area was. You can kind of faintly see where it used to be. The camera can't even pick it up. That's how insane it is. So let's go pop this thing back in. Let's see if it works now. Okay, I have to admit a fault. Um, so we're in my car now. Turns out the PlayStation 4 does not play audio <laughs> CDs. That could be a good reason why the CD didn't play, but needless to say, the CD was so scratched up, it needed to be fixed. And boy, did we fix. All right, so I'm gonna put it in the car and let's see if it actually plays now. Titanic, the CD, here we go. Oh. oh, boy, we did it. Oh my gosh. Well, boom, we did it, y'all. We buffed out them scratches super, super easy. Okay, so it turns out I actually have a couple of GameCube games that are looking a bit ravished. You see that? Gah. That's Pikmin. I'm gonna put in the original Pikmin now. The original Pikmin. I recognized that it was a GameCube game. Okay. Game disc could not be read. Please read the instruction booklet. Problems around every turn, eh? Uh, it certainly looks like booty. Yeah, no one's gonna buy that. No one is ever gonna buy that. Pikmin. We can try to get Pikmin to work. This one actually said it disc read error, so we're about to buff that shit out just for fun. I got Lego Island. Y'all remember that shit? All right, I'm gonna buff that out. Just so y'all could see some of the scratches on these. They're visible. And this is for Dear Avenger 4, and this is the Lego Island. There's like boo-boo, there's poo-poo stains on it. So what I do, slow turn, coats the whole thing, and then you just hold it, palm of your hand. It's like brand new. That's crazy. All right, let's hit that Pikmin. <laughs> nice. 
You gotta hold on. I'm gonna break this. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one that breaks it, not the scratch it. Alright. That's a night and day difference. Let's go see if Pikmin work. Let's see if Pikmin works. We were getting an error that said it did not load previously. It didn't have the error. It's it works. Unfortunately, I don't have a GameCube controller. Because you need a GameCube controller to get these things to go past that screen. That's, that is a sign that it's working though. It did not say error. Boom, boom, this stuff works, I'm telling y'all. All right, so we know that Scarface works. This is the first thing I put in. Let's break it and then fix it. Oh shit, yeah, that's goofed. <laughs> Uh, you think that'll play? Let's go find out. All right, let's see if our brand new first edition Scarface works. Oh, it sounded bad. That's not working. Yo, if this works, I'm gonna be shocked. No, my PlayStation's freaking out. I hope we can fix it. Alrighty, all boosted up. Let's see if the waffler method works. You know, even the toughest stains. That looks bad. Alright. I'll have to lose control. All right, we got this. It's getting there, but it's not, it's still broke. Not to my liking. We're getting there, but as you can see, it's still a little boofed up. So I'm gonna put a little more and just run it one more time. Persistent little bastards. I scratched it good. So good I can't even buff it out. I don't think I can buff it much more. I'm kind of upset because it's not perfect. You can see there's still a little bit of doo-doo. And I don't want to get the sandpaper out because that's a whole deal. So, well, let's go see if it plays. It looks a lot better than it did, I'll tell you that. Sparkle, sparkle. And you gotta really look. You gotta really hit it at a, the right angle to see the spooky. They're very tiny. Okay, so that goes in. Let's see if she works. It's looking good so far. My dog just thought I was looking at her. Well, it works. I did it. All right. Well, as you can see, buffing out them scratches, it really does work. It works wonders, especially if your CD is absolutely not working. So for the price of maybe $25 for the drill and the buff or and the, um, the wax, boom, you can get some CDs that were previously really messed up. 
to actually play. So just go ahead and invest in some of that. If you are into maybe a thrift store, because every time you go to a thrift store, you're going to see broken CDs and stuff that no one buys of really good stuff, like Wii games and things like that, that people were just like, oh, that game's broken. It just threw throw it aside like this titanic cd i might get a dollar selling this online you know free shipping and handling sell it for four dollars um but that's a dollar that's money and it was just thrown to the side because it was a little scratched up we just listened to it so this movie was terribly bad off the movie's great but buff that out got it to play it's crazy isn't it well, I just wanted to let y'all know it's really doable. Show y'all a few tips and tricks on how to get it done for the music CD, a DVD, and a GameCube game. That's crazy. That's crazy. It works on every level. So, y'all go ahead, fix y'all some stuff. Y'all have a great evening.